Unfortunately, the majority of the time that we hear about our inner city youth, it's usually negative. But we have a story that focuses on the positive. We have Father Boyle who's taking that energy and totally making it something positive. The idea in Homeboy Industries is to have representatives from different gangs, half of them enemies with each other, working side by side at a common venture so that they will put behind them all the stuff that previously had held them back, like gang violence or selling drugs. Father Gray's a good man. He helped us a lot. You know, no one else would give us a chance but him, you know? But if it wasn't for Father Gray, I wouldn't have a job right now. Homeboy Industries is a pretty small drop in a pretty big bucket. So, I mean, we've created 30 jobs just in these industries. Now, surely one would love to create 30,000 jobs for kids who otherwise wouldn't be given a shot at anything. We believe in what we're doing here. We believe in this approach. They call me child, because I have a baby face, so they call me child. What if we chose to build children rather than just repair adults? We're getting young individuals um, off the street that have come to Father Greg and in society doesn't want to give them a chance. That's why we've created Homeboy Industries. Ruben and Christina I've known for a long time and uh, the two of them wanted to start their own silkscreen business and I said well what if you called it Homeboy and, and what if this is what it looked like. As a business owner looking at a bunch of rival gang members I don't worry about the, the violence, the possibility of them killing each other here because they've come to that time of their life where they've decided to change. The reality and the truth of gang members is that often enough there's no there there. These are kids who have been abandoned and neglected and have a hard time retrieving images of parents that are positive by and large and hope is foreign and strange and distant and because of that they act out in a violent way. A lot of times kids have to kind of give birth to themselves. They have to move beyond uh, a lot of uh, painful memories and say, well, I have to get over it and I need to get on with my life and I need to, you know, discover something for myself and, and, and the healing begins. I'm happiest when I see a kid moving beyond uh, the gang environment and, and starting to discover uh, the truth about himself. Uh, through the, the dignifying power of a job, he sees that he is a responsible member of the community. He helped me out right there when I was busted. He tried, when I get out, he hooked me up right here, he tried to get me in school. He tried to hook me up with my community service, he tried to keep me out of trouble. I work in 14 different detention facilities as a priest, so thousands of kids come through this door and they all want the same thing. Oh, I know him all my life. You know, you don't want to baptize me. He's a father, he baptized me. So, he cares a lot about us. They want somebody to believe in them. They want somebody to look at them and see goodness and to know that they are exactly what God had in mind when God made them not a minute of disappointment in there. If it was up to me, I'll, you'll be president right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate you. Homeless Street is like the first job I ever had. We get individuals that have never, ever punched a time card in. Oh, and I can't work, I didn't know nothing. I didn't even know what sunscreen was. Most of them have t-shirts that are printed but never realize how they're produced. They're eager to learn, they're eager to work, making an honest living. If they could learn enough responsibility, showing up on time and feeling their responsibilities here at work, why can't we say they can't do it in a warehouse or in an office or you know any other employment? Somebody has to help them see that image of what the future holds and walk them into the future. Uh, profit and loss records and stuff like that, you're, you're throwing that away. Ours is a nonprofit organization, so it's dependent on a lot of people uh, helping us out and choosing to, to invest at this level. Uh, invest in kids before you have to build more prisons. What, 3,000 police and a brand new jail we got that's costing us millions of dollars can't do is stop the violence with a simple job, compassion, and show them love. And they all want to have a shot at something. They all want to not just say no to gangs, they want to be able to say yes to a future. Most of these kids plan their funerals and not their futures. There was a, a kid uh, named uh, Caesar, him right up there. Who knows what happened, but he was beaten to death. And it was in the hospital for, before he died, he was there for 45, 48 hours. 
and one of his enemies who worked with him at the silk screen had called me and said, could I donate blood? And before I could even respond, the kid said, he was not my enemy, he was my friend. We worked together. A lot of homeboys, Latinos uh, from this community, often enough will tattoo uh, brown and proud uh, on their bodies, you know, when we want to say, well, here's what it really looks like to be brown and proud, you know, to be part of a venture that really brings our raza up rather than works to destroy and bring us down and hold us back. My hope would be that Homeboy Industries would change people's attitudes and if even they got smart on crime rather than tough on crime, I'd be happy. To some people, he's a father they never had. You help them out in any way they can. You do this as an investment in your own future, you know, that the streets are safer if you can put people to work. I work with other guys from different gangs, my worst enemies, but we try to get along here. That's, that's why Father Gray put us with enemies, because we're trying to get along here. We're gonna give you a job, but you're gonna have to work next to somebody you used to shoot at. I just gotta just thank Father G for letting it happen. A job is as close as we're gonna come to a single solution. So any community that says, we will teach this kid everything we know, we will mentor this kid. We will we'll help this kid navigate the treacherous waters of his own adolescence. Uh, every community can do that. And because they can, they must. Stay with us. Rockin' Espanol Sensation Mana is next, mi gente.